yay the camera still works as you can hear it's raining very very hard and also my voice sounds fantastic but uh, yeah this morning has been a great morning already I am soaked my feet are soaked I just had to go from the truck into here and I am just drenched <laughs> All right, so you got a new alternator or a remanufactured alternator, and you have these little slide pins that you got to pull back. Here's how you can do it. What I do is I get a bolt that fits into the the slide, like the same bolt thread pitch and everything that you know how you would put it in. Anyway, I take a socket, run the bolt through the socket. The socket is bigger than the actual out piece, and then, as you will see here, you just simply basically press it in using the bolt. It can take a little effort. There we go. Oftentimes it'll make a snap noise like that. Also, I'm trying to do this on a bench, on a table not made for this. It'd be easier if you put it in a vise. So we're just gonna pull it back a little bit. You don't have to pull it all the way back, but you definitely have to pull it back some. Bolt that'll fit into those threads, washer, and then socket. It's just a big old crappy socket I have. Just make sure it fits around the fits around this so you don't fight that. You got plenty of room and you're great. So let's assume for a second for with that tutorial there that you don't have a bolt that'll fit through here. Well if you can find a bolt, we'll just pretend that this side has one. If you can find a bolt that goes all the way through, just put a nut on this side, you can do the same principle. Just put your socket over here and then just put a bolt on the other end and use that to pull it in. So same difference. So if you some of them maybe have like really big bolt holes and you just you don't have something that big that's that long and it's just another option i always had a pretty sharp pretty car come in the shop thought you guys would appreciate it it's an austin healy very shiny well if the battery's gone bad it's not going to anyway but as far as generally maintaining a battery they're great okay. what year is it 60. 60. nice Yes. It's very pretty. Thank you. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. That's how you guys would like that. And right now I'm also looking at this noise right here. I have the dash torn out of this Jenna. Listen. That. It sounds like it's coming from right in here. It's likely a blend door motor that the gear is stripped out in. All right, so figured it out. I got the part pulled out. I'll show you. Turn the key off, turn the key back on. This, it was actually really easy to get out. This little piece sits up in there and you pull on these little tabs up and it just pops out this way and then just pulls out. All you have to do is take off the two tens at the top of this and this whole little unit sits to the side pop the little level thing out and you can just simply slide this thing off it's not bolted in it's just held in with this lovely piece here and we're going to swap it out and get it fixed because that's making the noise and it'll get the blend doors to work and everything will be happy yay all right we got it fixed i'll let you give a little look how it works it's the this is the motor that we swapped you can see now it actually functions and it controls this Recirc on, recirc off, and that's that. So, like I said, this little motor thing just slides out that way. And then we'll sh show you how we get this back on here, which is pretty much just slide this that way. Let me switch hands. Like that. Just snaps in place. There you go. It'll hold that motor in and the research door will continue to work. It's just a simple push clip type thing. There we go. No more buzzing, no more noises, no more funny things. All done. Let's put the glove box back together. Also to get the glove box out, there's a bolt under here. You got three bolts here, three bolts down here. You gotta take off this little lower pillar part. Uh, there's a little clip around the side on the glove box that's right here. That just pulls. 
but this is the one that you don't see. There's a little cover here, you just pull the cover down and pop it off. And that's how you get the glove box out on this particular Jetta. This is a, what, 2006 Jetta? So, there you go. All right, so we're on to the last thing of the day. The alternator worked out great, drove the car, went wonderfully. Uh, this, I just put the armrest back in, but I took this apart. I took this car apart, I don't know, two months ago? Took off basically from here all the way up, and it's all down there and in the back seat. I don't remember how it went exactly, so we're playing guessing game. I could also break out the directions and look at those. I, I have those as well in here, so we might might use those. Also, can I also promote this freaking light is awesome. Wireless. I don't have to run a cable or anything stupid like that, and it's I love it. Great lighting in here. Makes it really easy to work. Doesn't work so well back here because obviously it's up there, but love it. 